Satu, thank you so much for being here this evening. We're so thrilled to have you here and to speak to the community of the past and General Assembly and other people in New York who I think can really benefit from meditation. If you're speaking with young people, I don't mean children, the young professionals who are very stressed out, maybe they're founders of companies or they have stressful jobs in film or publishing, what do you tell them when they say, I can't meditate, I don't have time, or it's too hard, or my brain is not wired that way? Well, suppose you don't feel well, you go to see a doctor, and the doctor say, okay, here's your, you know, what uh, calls you physical trouble. And so you have to do a uh, particular cure, and here's the prescription for it. And you tell the doctor, oh, no, doctor, sorry. You know, first of all, I don't feel well, and second, I don't have time. So I, I will follow the treatment when I feel well and I have time. Of course, it's, it's not the right answer. So in fact, if 20 minutes a day of you know getting a little bit more, I you know some kind of uh, uh, seeing clearer, calmer, and more stable state of mind, which is not so much. Uh, carried away by chains of thought and inner conflicts and, and, and not so much ruminating me, me, me all the time, so more peaceful, more open to others, if cultivating that for 20 minutes a day change the quality of the 23 hours and uh, 20 minutes left, including your sleep, in relation to others, <coughs> sorry, and including the sleep and the relation to others, that seems to be a pretty good investment, just in the same way that even very busy people now, when they say, oh, I'm going to the gym, even as a busy CEO, nobody objects to that because every, no one knows that all the scientific studies have shown that you do 20 minutes of physical exercise three, four times a week, increase your immune system, it's an antidote to anxiety and depression, and you just better health so you can function better in life. So I think to take care of the mental mind immune system is a must. Yeah. If someone were to say to you, Matthew, I've heard everything about meditation, I'm so I just don't know where to start. How can I start? What would your advice be? Well, I mean I don't want to be naughty, but if, I, if someone says I want everything about meditation, I say, wait a minute. <laughs> I know there's so much to hear from great masters, from 2,500 years of tradition. So I doubt that everything has heard everything about meditation. But they're ready, they're sold. But they want to know, how do I start? What do I do? Well, we have to demystify meditation as well. Demystify doesn't mean to make it a sign of a silly gimmick. Meditation is training the mind, it's practicing. So we all know, say for instance, we have moments of very can't focus mind. It happens sometimes after strong physical exercise or sitting by a beautiful lake or, or a moment of peace, walking just no under the star, no enough conflicts, no enough harmony with nature, with others. But those mo magic moments don't last. But they are causes and, and conditions. There are reasons why we feel this absence of inner conflict, this kind of peace, inner strength, inner resilience. So if we see why, how does that come about, we can cultivate that. Or you might feel unconditional love for someone, a child or somebody, but then it comes and goes. Why don't we cultivate that? So it's basically cultivating mental state that we know about, but normally as very transitory. So just as you need to exercise on the piano for more than 10 seconds, you need to do it for half an hour, we just become familiar and cultivate again and again those wholesome mental state that contribute to your inner peace, inner calm, inner strength. And so the first step is? To first become, to look within and see which are the mental factors that contribute to well-being, which are detrimental to well-being. And if you find that, for instance, not following up every single thought that comes, cultivating compassion, letting your mind settle like, you know, when you stop stirring up the water and the water becomes clear, if it's fine, it's beneficial, you just continue that for 10-15 minutes, instead of saying, oh, that's nice, and then getting up and do something else. There's nothing mysterious about that. Thank you so much. I know we'll hear greater wisdom from you. Um, thank you. Thank you. We have some people here who are excited to meet you. Okay.